Before we start today's video, I want to introduce you to a new eyewear brand that I recently got the chance to try out called Wear Me Pro. You guys know that I wear glasses every day. They aren't just for show. They are actually prescription. I've got astigmatism. And I've said a lot in the past that I don't like spending a lot of money on glasses because, let's face it, stuff just seems to happen to them. Therefore, I don't like to pay a lot for frames and lenses. There's also a couple other specific things that I look for when choosing eyewear, and Wear Me Pro was able to help me out with each one of those things. One being that I need them to be a specific size. I really can't stand having to push them up my face all day when they're too big. It's just super annoying. And the second thing is clear frames. I prefer to wear clear frames. I just like them the best, to be honest. And again, Wear Me Pro checked all of the boxes for me. This is an eyewear brand that was started in 2012 and believes that quality eyewear should not be exclusive to designer labels. On their site, they offer a lot of options for men and women, including blue light blocking lenses to help protect your eyes from those harmful effects of blue light, like what we see from our devices that we're on all day. On top of that, they also donate a portion of every sale to help animals in need. I mean, who doesn't love that? You can also see for yourself at their site that they offer a lot of different styles at really good prices too. And I can tell you the pair that I got uh, looks and feels awesome. They are sturdy, they're not cheap and flimsy feeling, and all around I can just tell you that I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen from this brand. If you'd like to check out Wear Me Pro for yourself, a link will be in the description. I highly recommend you check them out and get yourself some awesome eyewear and help the animals at the same time. I mean, really, you can't beat that. Now though, on to today's episode. What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got yet another spray, if you can believe it. This one from a completely new brand made by a stylist out of California. All right, so today we have our first look at the first product from a new brand called Scott Reif Hair, named by the man himself, Mr. Scott Reif, who is a practicing stylist out of California. This line has two products total in it, but today we're focusing solely on the Tahiti Surf Spray, which, according to the brand, is a product designed to bottle the power of the ocean, creating effortlessly lived-in texture and volume to enhance any hairstyle. It provides a natural finish with a light hold and a very very lightweight feeling for folks who want the benefits of product in their hair without their hair feeling like it's loaded up with product. Price-wise, we are looking at $29 for 8 ounces of product. Moving straight into our demo here and taking a look at this up close, this, for starters, is very easy to use. It has a great mist to it, so it's just super easy to apply. It does say in the instructions to apply a generous amount, and with my hair being thicker and at a good length, I am going to be doing that using a good amount of couple full passes around my head and then as usual I'm going to be hitting it with the heat and as I do that you can feel a tiny bit of something coming through here. It's really not super noticeable, it's not very dominant at all, not, you know, not, not the focal point of the product in other words, but the most important thing is that something is being felt here. That's a very positive sign to me in other words. And after I finish blow drying, this is the result that I get. And I admit it's probably a bit hard to see on camera, but what I can report feeling is not so much tactile or stickiness it feels very natural actually I can see why they mentioned that bit about feeling like the product isn't there it is very lightweight and easy on the hair but it's still controlled my hair isn't frizzy or going anywhere it's feeling very nourished and controlled at the same time texture wise I can tell that it's there but it's very light of course you can see that for yourself I think but the the main thing here is that it's providing a great amount of control and a solid foundation that really makes me see why folks in the salon are enjoying the spray Moving even over to the washout here, I mean, it's hardly even worth talking about, honestly. This stuff just disappears from the hair as soon as water touches it. You can tell there's a huge amount of water in the formula, actually, so I think it has a lot to do with that. It literally just falls out as if it wasn't even there. The scent, though, is something that I do want to focus on for a second. I absolutely love this scent. It's not a cologne, so it's not your typical scent that we've seen recently. You can tell this one was specifically and meticulously made. All the notes specially chosen 
nose and it's described as a Mai Tai orange and coconut scent. And I have to say, usually I'm not a fan of coconut scents, but as usual, the blend is everything. And it's smooth, it's got a little citrus, a little sweetness in there. I mean, this scent is killer in my opinion. Bringing it all together here now, I think in the ocean of sea salt sprays that we've seen lately, and do not pardon the pun there, I mean, there's been an insane amount coming across my desk lately. There are some that do tend to stand out as at the very least having some identifiable effects. As I've said in previous videos, these types of products have been so tough for me because many of them just don't have anything that can be seen with them. And it's just hard for me to discuss results when I don't have anything identifiable to go off of. I can say though that this one is a different story. I mean, it's not mind blowing by any means. The effects were a little light to be honest, but they were there. The effects were able to be seen and felt. So that tells me two things. One, this is a solid formula. It does absolutely work. And two, people with lighter hair, thinner hair, finer hair, shorter hair even, will have a lot more of the effect than what I saw here. I mean, the fact that I was able to see the results in my hair as it sits proves, in my opinion, that it should be a more intense result for you guys that fall into one of those hair categories. It's for that reason that I do have to say that this spray, in my opinion, checks out. I think it really backs up what I've known for a long time, and that's stylists and barbers. They, they just really know how to make products that work. The only thing really that I'm on the fence about here is the price. It is a, a bit higher price than others that we have seen, but I do think that it's priced for the market that it's in. And actually, when I did a bit of research, I did find a couple others that are priced around the same thing. So that's why I say I am a bit on the fence about it. But ultimately, it is up to you to decide on things like that. Like I always say, the final judgment is up to you. And if you'd like to check this product out, or even if you're in the area and want to check out Scott for maybe a haircut or something like that, you can find his website in the description if you're interested. Of course, I want to know what your opinion is on this stuff too. So let me know in the comment section on what you think of the product and the results and everything like that. And while you're there, tap that like button for me and hit the subscribe button as well. That's a huge help to me. I really appreciate you doing that. That though is it for today. Thanks so much for joining me for this review. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.